be showing you guys on how to link in your your wallet, your crypto wallet back to your back office so that you can withdraw directly from your back office using either BTC or USDT depending on which one you prefer. Uh, but firstly we're going to be showing you different kinds of wallets and then we will pick one and show you on how to link your crypto wallet back to your back office. For a start we're going to be showing you a look at a yellow card is a wallet, but it's only a Bitcoin wallet. Um, yellow card is both uh, a web wallet and also a mobile wallet. So you can have a mobile app for it. And also most of the wallets we'll be showing you are both for web and mobile. But most, some of them are just only mobile. You, either you're using yellow card or you're using Luno. Luno is a mobile app. So basically you can either sign in and link in your wallet to your back office. Uh, the functions you will be seeing in the wallet we'll be using can be done in every of them. Either you are sending or you are receiving. You have that same function and it is goodly written in any of them. We have another wallet like uh, QDAT. Mm. Mm. Okay. QDAT is both mobile and web, so you can decide to use either your QDAT or you decide to use uh, Bitcoin or you decide to use Yellow Card. I think QDAT is loading, sorry for the network. Let me open others while I Coinbase. So, depending on which one you want to use, it's either you want to use QDAT or you want to use uh, Coinbase or you want to use Luno, or we're going to be using Yellow Card. But for the cost of this training, we're going to be making use of Yellow Card. And signing up to Yellow Card is basically easy. All you need is your name. You need your first name, you need your last name, your date of birth, your phone number, and your email, your password. Now you get to see that they give you a restriction where you need for your password. So your password must be at least eight character, one lower case, one capital letter, uh, a number, and a symbol. Uh, so once you get that right, everything is stick here. So you must have a symbol, either add or dot or comma or question mark, any symbol you wish to add. Uh, then you click on sign up. Basically, it will take you for you to verify your account in your email. They're going to send you an email for you to verify your account. All you just need to do is click on the link. Uh, so we have already done that. So we're just gonna sign in. Now signing in is easy. Uh, all you need to do is put your phone number and your password. Now once you put your phone number and your password and E is correct, it sends you an OTP to your phone. Now, it's either sending it to you as a WhatsApp message or it's sending it to you as a message, a SMS or WhatsApp or you get a uh, code using USDD. So if you're using getting code using USSD, yeah, you're typing this USSD code on the number you register. And also, for the WhatsApp, it's going to be sent on the number you register. So I request for it on my WhatsApp, which I shall receive it any moment from now. Okay. We'll copy the code from my WhatsApp as it's been sent and type it here. And confirm. Okay, so it locks you to your yellow card. Now, if you're joining for the first time, uh, you will need to uh, verify some settings for you to have a large number of both deposit and withdrawal. But for us, we're just going to be sending and receiving. So for us to send a large amount, we need to do some verification. Tier, yeah. So for your first year, you have just 20,000, which it needs you to verify your name, your email address, and your phone number. So basically, they'll send a message to your, your email. Once you verify it, you have an access of a maximum of 20,000. For the second tier, you need your PVN to receive a maximum of 
two million naira. So if you want to withdraw a maximum of two million naira, you need to put your BBN. For the third tier, where you need to withdraw fifty million naira and above, uh, up to fifty million naira, sorry, you need to verify using either your national ID card or your international passport or your voter's card or your driving license, depending on which you have. Okay, so we will go to home. For this second part, we'll be showing you on how to link your wallet you have here to your back office. So that's what we're going to be showing you in this second part. Where you have your Bitcoin, we are concerned with the sending and the buying. The story, we're concerned with uh, the sending and the receiving. Uh, for now, we can use buying and selling since uh, our government have decided to block the bank from doing crypto transaction. Uh, this aspect will remain closed until that is open for us. So for now, we're going to be doing sending and receiving. Now for the receiving aspect, it's just going to be a one-time thing where you copy your uh, wallet address to your back office. You click on receive, you get to see the teach codes here where you have alphanumeric, the alphanumeric. Please never you want to write down this code down instead all you just need to do is copy it click on it there and you have the copy and then you take it to your back office now there in your back office you have to go to your personal center i'm only logging in my personal my back office your chy more back office you go to your personal center uh, where you have to fill in your details. You have to fill in your name, you have to fill in your number, you have to fill in your email address. And there you have where you have to fill in your uh, your bank name, you select your bank name, and also you put in your account, your bank account number, and also your bank name, your name you're using in your bank account. Then you have where you have here your BTC wallet, and also where you have here your US wallet so we have the BTC wallet all you just need to do is paste it now this field uh, shouldn't be blank if you don't intend using all of them all you just need to put is nil Zenin Nigeria, Nigeria or UBA, anyone? Mm -hmm. Then you save. You go to withdraw. When you click on withdraw, uh, you select the amount of CH right point you want to withdraw 20 and in times. You select uh, CH right point, uh, PTC method, uh, the equivalent of what you will join shows in BTC. Uh, then you put in your password and click withdraw. Once you click on withdraw, it goes to your withdrawal record. Goes to your withdrawal record. Your withdrawal record is, is where you have to now screenshot and send and send it to the customer care. Now, when you're screenshotting it, you make sure either your username here or the one you have up here, along with the withdrawal details, is showing. Once you screenshot it, you can now send it uh, to the customer uh, care number there for them to confirm. Once it's been confirmed, uh, the amount is sent directly to your wallet. Um, the customer care number will be down on the description link along with uh, the links for you to register an account with either yellow card or Luno or Coinbase as depending on which you want 